the key to this whole thing is that what brains do, what the nature of intelligence is, is we, in our heads, create a model of the world. Yeah. And that model reflects the actual physical structure of things, hmm. where things are, where they are relative to each other. And we, we create this, in sense, a three-dimensional internal model of everything you know. Uh, and this also applies to things like, it's hard at first to understand about like, like music and language. We have models of everything. Yeah. And so, and those models require reference frames to be created. The thing about deep learning, it has nothing like that. Deep learning is a statistical technique that- And says, that's what's powering the, the large language models that right, most of I'm us sorry, know and right, interact right. with. Yeah. What we think of as AI today, all based on deep learning. In fact, uh, you mentioned Sam Altman earlier. He wrote that, you know, everything can be done with deep learning. That's all you need. Deep learning is miraculous and solves every problem. Um, it's not true uh, because deep learning doesn't have this sort of structured knowledge of the world. That's why, that's why it can make silly mistakes, mm. right? You know, when you look at an AI system, um, you know, if you have to generate an image, it doesn't really know what humans are like. It doesn't know that you're supposed to have five fingers. It's just a, statistically, the images it, I've seen. Right. It's like it's not... Um... It's not tethered or grounded in right. anything. This idea That's of the reference frame point. and the positionality of information or right. knowledge, it, it fixes it in an actual world, whereas these deep learning networks are a little abstracted.